very good morning my dear children i welcome you all to b and c b s e english youtube class how are you my dear children i hope you all are doing well okay so my dear children before we start our class let's revise what we have learned so far in our previous class we learned a story do you remember the name of the story yes do you remember yes what's the name of the story the very big parcel very good my dear children so let me ask you a question do you remember what's the moral we learned about that story what you learned yes we learned to help our neighbors do you remember yes even though we become rich in the future we should not forget the help that we get from our neighbor isn't it we should help our neighbors when they are in need isn't it my dear children very good then after completing the story we learned the grammar articles do you remember that Yes you remember isn't it yes that's my good children i know that you are brilliant and smart my good children so you never ever forget what you have learned even though two weeks ago you learned this lesson you still remember isn't it yes that's my good children so today we are going to see three worksheets okay my dear children that are given in your textbook let me see the page number 23 24 and 25 so my dear children if you are having your textbook with you in your hands take page number 23 turn to page number 23 let me count 3 1 2 3 2 so have you all taken yes very good my dear children so page number 23 you are having the worksheet 1 isn't it so there you are given the passage so see here the question is read the passage and answer the following yes okay let's all read the passage so my dear children as usual i'm going to read you are going to keep your fingers on your screen or in your textbook okay that's good my dear children don't play just follow me when i'm reading okay let me read the first line i am ravi i am 5 years old so in this passage we are going to learn about ravi okay ravi is the boy he is 5 years old how many years old 5 years old isn't it yes i like books i read with my eyes obviously children how you read you read with your eyes isn't it he likes what he likes books isn't it my dear children yes let's move on to next sentence this is my sister rani so what's the name of his sister rani okay she is flying a kite what she doing yes when you read the passage you can to know that ravi is a boy he is 5 years old he likes book he is reading with his eyes and he is introducing his sister to us what's her name her name is Rani isn't it and what is she doing she is flying a kite okay she uses her hands his sister she is using her hands for flying a kite okay my dear children so don't forget whatever i am reading now so for the following questions you are going to use this passage okay to fill the answer okay my dear children yes next line my grandmother likes plants she likes what yes she likes plants 
she waters the plants so every day she waters the plants yes we should water the plants then only it will be growing yes it will be growing well and gives you a uh, fruits flowers etc isn't it yes let's move on to next line my grandfather goes to market where does his grandfather go he goes to the markets okay he walks with his legs obviously children we used to walk with our legs is there no what are the other function of the legs we are using our legs to run hop jump isn't it yes okay my dear children very good then my uncle likes riding a bicycle how many of you like riding bicycle raise your hands how many of you yes i am raising my hands because i like riding my bicycle yes you very good children okay the next line says my cousin loves to draw <coughs> his cousin loves to draw he holds his pencil with his fingers his fingers help him to draw yes yes children so we stop reading the paragraph here let's move on to the question so next you are given some questions yes you can find these questions in your textbook in the page number 23 are you all following me yes that's good my dear children so your first question is ravi likes to dash ravi likes to dash so we read that ravi likes book so what does he do with books he plays with a book yes no he cannot play with a book isn't it or else he writes with a book can you write a book no you can ride motorcycle or bicycle but you cannot write a book isn't it but can you read yes you read a book isn't it so here what's the correct answer ravi likes to read yes have you all written that's good my dear children the next question he reads with his dash he reads with his dash so you all know that we all read with our dash what ears yes ears now mouth are you agreeing mouth can you read with your mouth yes yes you can read with your mouth isn't it is dear children you can read by your mouth not with your mouth if you can see you can read a book so he reads with his dash what eyes yes that's the correct answer so right here eyes have you all written right here eyes okay let's move on to next question ravi's grandfather goes to the dash yes we read that his grandfather goes to goes to shop now garden now but what's the correct answer he goes to market isn't it so right here market m a r k e t right here market have you all written that's good my dear children let's move on to next question he walks with his dash ravi's grandfather is walking to the market with his dash yes with his hands can you walk with your hands no can you walk with your eyes no but you can walk with your legs isn't it my dear children so what's the correct answer ravi's grandfather walks with his legs have you all written 
yes that's good my dear children so you are given two more questions that's your homework okay just read the passage and try to find the answers okay my dear children let's move on to second question choose the names for the given action words do you know what is action word any idea yes action words that are verbs what is verbs action words so can you give some action words running jumping yes run jump even i'm speaking this is the action isn't it you are writing that is the action so the verb write that's the verb yes speak that's the verb so these are all action words okay my dear children yes let's move on to next question ravi's grandmother what is the dash so can you say what's the action word here can you say yes water yes she is watering yes she is watering dash she is watering the kites now she is watering the plants yes yes she waters the plants isn't it so my dear children write here plants p l a m t s plants yes next question rani flies a dash she flies a book can you fly a book yes she flies a pen now what she flies she is flying a kite very good my dear children write your kite have you written yes the next question ravi reads a dash what he is reading yes very good my dear children he is reading a book so write your b o o k book yes so children here this question also has five questions so three questions we have done and two more questions are there so this is your homework you can do from reading that passage okay dear children yes let's move on to next question match the following it's very easy very easy column a has four a b c d what are they eyes hands legs and fingers isn't it column b also having four options draw walk read fly kite so let's see which is matching which one okay yes my dear children eyes what's the correct answer eyes yes you can read with your eyes very good hands hands with hands you can fly kites yes very good legs yes walk and the last one fingers with fingers you can draw okay my dear children so the correct answer eyes read hands fly kites legs walk and fingers draw if you have any doubt read the passage that is given in the beginning of the page okay and then find the answers correct answers okay my dear children yes next turn to page number 24 worksheet number 2 so here my dear children look at the pictures and fill in the blanks the first worksheet let you read the passage and fill the given questions here my dear children you should look at the pictures and find the answers let me read this Sara has a red dash. What's the picture give, picture given there? What's this picture? This is bag. Very good. So she has red bag. All of you right over there. Yes, very good. Let me read. Which she likes a lot. 
In her bag, she has a dash. The next one, she has what? What is this? This is pencil. Very good. All of you write here pencil. Yes? Have you written? Very good, my dear children. The next picture, what is this? This is doll. Very good. All of you write here doll. That's my good children. And the next picture, can you find this? What is this? This is a ring. So, what's the spelling of the ring? Can you write over there? R I N G. Have you all written? Very good, my dear children. Very good. So, see here, you have written this and you are having five more pictures. So, that's your homework. Okay. You find out what's the name of the pictures and complete that worksheet. Okay, my dear children, let's move on to question number two. Look at the pictures and tick the correct sentence. Have you all seen the picture in the screen? Everyone? Yes, what's the bad doing? The mother bird is feeding its baby birds. Isn't it? Have you all seen this picture? Yes, very good, my dear children. Let's read the question. <coughs> the bird is building a nest. Is it building a nest? Yes. No, isn't it? So this is wrong. The next. The bird is waiting for the eggs to hatch. Is it so? Is it waiting for its eggs to hatch? No. Let's read the third one. The bird is feeding the baby birds. Is it correct? Very good. This is correct. All of you take the third one. This is the correct answer. So, my dear children, you are given two more questions there. So, as usual, that's your homework. Okay, let's move on to worksheet number three given in your page number 25. Yes? Have you all turned to page number 25? Yes. Fill in the blanks with the correct articles. What are the articles? Do you remember? This is what we learned two weeks ago. And you said you remember whatever you learned. Yes. What are the articles? A and B. Isn't it? Yes. Very good, my dear children. So, with the help of these articles, we are going to fill these questions. Okay? The first question. We know eight dash ice cream. Yes? What will come there? Can you guess? It starts with I. So, this is vowel or consonants. Ice cream. I. So, this is vowel. So, what's the correct answer? An ice cream, isn't it? Very good. Next question. Rhea is dash topper in her class. So, my dear children, can you guess what will come here? Can you guess the answer? A or an or the? Yes. So, here the children, Rhea is dash topper in her class. This particular sentence talks about Rhea. Isn't it? A specific person. It's talking about the specific person. So, what will come? What will come? The. Very good. T-H-E. The topper. She is the topper. Only one topper in a class. Isn't it? Yes. Let's move on to next question. I saw Dash movie last evening. Yes, what will come? What will come, my dear children? Can you guess the answer? Yes, this is not talking about a particular movie. Isn't it? This is not talking about a specific movie. Some movie. I saw Dash movie last evening. Some movie. Any movie. Isn't it? So, what will come? Can you write here an? No. Why? This is 
consonants. This is not vowels. So you cannot write an here. Isn't it? So what can you write here? Yes. A. Uh, very good, my dear children. I saw a movie. Yes. That's good. Okay, my dear children, you are having seven more questions. So, you just try to find the answers. Okay, be careful with um, like consonants, vowels and whether the sentence talk about the, talks about the specific person or specific uh, things or any names, anything. Okay, dear children, and try to fill those blanks. Okay, let's move on to second question. This is also the same question. You are going to use A and B. The articles, you are going to fill these blanks here. Okay, dear children. So, the first one. The dash is the king of dash. Jungle. Yes, I gave the answer. <laughs> yes. Dash lion is the king of dash jungle. Can you guess the answer? My dear children. This sentence talks about the specific animal, isn't it? And the specific jungle, isn't it, my dear children? So, what will be the answer? Specific. What will be the answer? The T H E. So, let me tell you, my dear children, if you start a sentence, the first letter should be capital. Okay? Don't forget that whenever you are starting a sentence the first letter should be in capital uppercase okay yes and here also uh, since it's talking about the specific jungle here also we can write the so here we are using lowercase because it's not the beginning of the sentence it's the middle okay my dear children yes and let's move on to next question question b i bought dash new car yesterday Dash car is red in color. I bought dash new car yesterday. So how many car can we bought? How many car can we buy children? Yes, you can buy a car. Isn't it as a moment? Okay, my dear children. So here a new car someone bought yesterday. Okay, and see here children, the second sentence in the same question, dash car, the particular car is coming here. So, it specifies this car. Isn't it my dear children? So, here you can write the. Okay, so do you understand how we are using articles? Yes, yes, that's good my dear children. Let's wind it up here. So, my dear children, <clears throat> I have given you some homeworks. Stay home, stay safe and do your homeworks regularly. If you have any doubt, you just text me or call me. Okay, my dear children. So, till see you in our next class. Bye-bye. This is your English ma'am. Okay. Thank you, my dear children. Have a nice day.